Hello everyone. In this video, I want to introduce uh, how to set up always in Prodigy. Uh, always you can uh, understand this like the OWL visualization uh, plugin. Uh, if you install the Prodigy in the left, uh, actually you can uh, have uh, uh, by default it, it's not have the uh, this uh, always in the tab, uh, but you can enable that from the tab. Uh, is here. Uh, uh, so with the uh, Prodigy uh, wiki.stanford.edu, uh, you can get this always uh, at uh, the wiki. Uh, this always uh, actually is uh, very useful uh, when you want to explore uh, your ontology's uh, structures through the hierarchy view. Uh, then you can uh, see the relationship each other uh, even is uh, including the classes and uh, individuals. Uh, so uh, I want to, uh, uh, you can start to enable that and to use this. Uh, so if I uh, make this uh, enable, uh, so you can see here, it's uh, coming here. Uh, but the tricky thing is uh, I have the clean, uh, the all uh, the Prodigy installation, uh, and uh, I, uh, when I uh, switch to the OVs, uh, I use this uh, pizza uh, dot all as the sample. You can see every uh, the blocks or class element are just in the upper left, uh, the corner. So which is not uh, usable actually. You can switch to the element, and you can see uh, they have the functional uh, working, but they are not able to show the hierarchy, no matter which uh, which way. Uh, so. Uh, uh, when I try to troubleshoot this, I found in the GitHub uh, uh, the uh, the Prodigy uh, per, uh, the project always uh, here. There's a discussion about the display uh, problem like this. So this is a tricky thing. Is uh, if you want to use the uh, the always uh, uh, always actually it's based on the graphic uh, weights. Uh, so you need to ensure you install this uh, first uh, because it's if you uh, enable, after you enable always, uh, you can see from the uh, purchase preference on the always uh, the tab. Here is the, they are looking for the path to dot, DOT. Uh, so they expect is uh, they have this uh, DOT dot exe in the per, uh, program file and the graph, uh, graph with uh, folder. Uh, but actually, uh, I haven't uh, installed this. Uh, so in, uh, if I look at uh, the my uh, folder uh, here. So if I see here, well, I don't have this uh, uh, graph width. So uh, the uh, to solve this is uh, the easy thing is uh, you should go to the graph width the page, and this uh, you can get this uh, download. Uh, depends on your OS uh, the starting. From the Linux, uh, you can get uh, the easy way to use uh, sudo apt or different uh, the distribution. You can install the graphics. They are in the repository. Uh, since I'm using the Windows, I'm uh, trying to download the graphic latest version 8.1.0. I use this uh, 64 bits uh, installation. I already download that. Uh, I can come to here. So this is the Windows 10, uh, the old, uh, this uh, graphic viz. Uh, then after download is, uh, let's install that. So it's uh, quite just a click next, next. Do not add graphic to the system path. Uh, uh, I, uh, I change this uh, to the system path uh, just uh, in case uh, if there's uh, any other uh, program want to use this, and I already have that in pass. Uh, and you can create our icon for uh, graph width. And next, you can see here is uh, the Prodigy by default looking for x86. Uh, but since I'm uh, installed the 64 bits, uh, it's not in that uh, program file x86. Uh, uh, it's uh, in the program file and graph weeks without the version. Uh, so that's uh, no worry. Uh, let's just uh, keep uh, and later on let's try to change this uh, path. 
So install. Uh, once it's uh, finished, uh, let's see. So if I uh, come to here, uh, looks like it uh, doesn't uh, work still. Uh, and then let's uh, try to position this uh, browse, this uh, DOT, and go to C, drive C, program file, and graph with, and come to the bin. You see the DOT. So let's open that. Now this is my uh, the actual folder. So uh, let's uh, re-exist and reopen. Let me do the save and exist. And let me open that again. Just wait a moment. Okay, it's opened. Let's see. I open my pizza bowl. It's uh, here. This is my class. And then this is the always. Now you can see here. So because it's now it's uh, able to uh, find this uh, dot exe so now you can have this uh, correct uh, hierarchy uh, you have the asserted hierarchy and also the inferred hierarchy uh, so the pizza is uh, quite uh, simple and also you you can have uh, the different way like is uh, the chopping so if i go to the uh, pizza chopping. I already have uh, quite uh, complex uh, the hierarchy. Uh, so those I uh, hope is uh, this, uh, using this uh, tricky way, you can also find your correct uh, uh, folder and the file location for this uh, dot.exe, and then you can have your uh, OWL always uh, running properly. Yeah, uh, hope it's uh, help you uh, on this. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.